Contaminated rainwater leaking into the sea from the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant was stopped after pumps resumed operation. The operator of Tokyo Electric Power Company found the pump generator wasn't working. A worker reported the pump malfunction on Tuesday. The utility discovered in February that contaminated rainwater from the reactor building roof was leaking into the sea. It was spilling through the drainage channel. The pumps were installed as a stopgap measure to reroute the channel away from the sea. Officials say the rainwater spilled into the sea for more than 11 hours, but they say the radioactive levels of the drainage water were low in samples taken shortly before they discovered the problem. Oh my God! Where's this going? No, you don't have to be specific. She doesn't have to be specific, does she? Nope. <laughs> nope. That's gonna be on your church Christmas table. Engineers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant say they're learning more about what caused one of their robotic cameras to get stuck. They sent it inside a reactor vessel earlier this month to get a better look at the damage there. And they say a newly released video is shedding light about what went wrong. The 60-centimeter snake-shaped robot was designed to navigate around obstacles amid strong radioactivity. But it stopped after crawling just 10 meters inside the containment vessel of the number one reactor. Video footage released by Tokyo Electric Power Company shows the robot tilting to the right. Officials say they've given up on recovering the device. Crew sent a second robot to retrieve the first machine, but the rescue robot also suffered a malfunction its camera stopped working due to radiation exposure. So they've decided to abandon both of them. Officials say the footage they retrieved before the initial device stopped working is helpful. It shows no major damage to part of the containment vessel close to the bottom. Melted nuclear fuel fell to the bottom of the vessel in the 2011 accident. The operator says it will analyze the footage and other data with the aim of eventually removing the fuel. I know I've seen your face before It's just that I can't remember where Was it in a magazine or book? Or maybe at the Renaissance Fair Planting trees in the garden Citing verses from the Bible I never forget a face you know It's an instinct for survival All in all it served me well I walk these streets fancy free I don't touch anyone And nobody touches me But once I've seen it in your eyes The time and place you're gonna die it's burned and etched into my mind I'm never gonna tell you I'm never gonna tell you I'm never gonna tell you All the things people need None of this interests me But your face is a mystery On the tip of my brain Stand right here in the light Turn your body side to side Hold your finger to your temple So that they are aligned What brought you here tonight? Was it shelter from the rain? If we eliminate the impossible The truth is all that will remain Once I've seen it in your eyes The time and place you're gonna die It's burned and etched into my mind And I'm never gonna tell you I'm never gonna tell you I'm never going to tell you. Abscess, tooth or gangrene, cancer or heart disease, terrorist or shark attack, low probability, but it is a mystery because your face is just a face, as if my mind was opened up and suddenly erased. Once you walk out of here onto the slick sidewalk, you may get hit 
by a bus Or your heart might just then stop But I'll simply never know And that makes me so upset that I have to go I wasn't gonna tell you I wasn't gonna tell you I wasn't gonna tell you Wasn't gonna tell you I was never gonna tell you People living near a former nuclear weapons facility in the United States once depended on jobs it provided. But after it was shut down, many worried about their futures and the contamination that it was left behind. Now, new businesses are being born that take advantage of local experience and expertise. NHK World's Irina Aoyama has the story. The Hanford site in southeastern Washington state is known as the most contaminated nuclear site in the United States. Established in 1943 as part of the Manhattan Project, the site produced plutonium for the nuclear weapons program. When all nine reactors were shut down, more than 200 million liters of radioactive waste remained. Cleanup began in 1989. Originally, it was set to be completed within 30 years. But due to leaking waste tanks and other technical challenges, the process has faced extensive delays. Across the river, cleanup work continues even decades after this nuclear weapons-related facility was shut down. They estimate that it will take at least until 2060 before the work is completed. But the decontamination effort has supported the local economy with its $2 billion annual price tag. The region has also become a hub for the development of nuclear-related research and technology. New companies have been springing up, like this consulting firm, Dade Moeller. Many of its employees used to work at the Hanford site. They now provide radiological and nuclear services to U.S. and international clients. So if you're trying to find a several spots of contamination, you really need to go, go very, fairly slow, which isn't easy there. Their services include radiation safety training. <laughs> it's been great. I've learned a lot and um, got to experience um, the use of a lot of different instruments that I've never used before, so um, it's been really valuable training. Yeah. Dave, good to see you. Good to see, good to see you. See you. Thanks for Dave McCormick brought 13 years of Hanford experience in waste management Those and radiation protection to the company. So many of our projects really rely on experience, not just education, not just certifications. Uh, and the level of experience, the complexity, diversity uh, has helped us here and helped clients here. Another company, Isoray Medical, has developed a radiation treatment for cancer. The technique is derived from research on isolating radioactive materials at the Hanford site. After separating and purifying the radioactive isotope, it is sealed inside a special capsule. Then it is implanted in the affected part of the body. More than 7,000 prostate cancer patients have already been treated with this technique, and the company is expanding into treatments for brain, head and neck, lung, and other cancers. They had a cadre of people who had a wide variety of backgrounds from engineering to, to uh, how to build reactors. And, and so without that kind of a background, no, we wouldn't have started. The local economy is finally moving away from its dependence on the Hanford site. 50 years to get to where we are. It takes a real ambition, a desire, vision, I mean, you, you need to explore those things in order to move ahead. While this community has faced major challenges and the cleanup road remains long, many are moving forward in search of a future beyond the Hanford legacy. Irina Aoyama, NHK World, 
Tri-Cities, Washington State. The TPP talks, the latest round has ended between the Japanese and U.S. negotiators and what's come out of it. Well, marathon talks have finally finished. Uh, unfortunately, nothing conclusive, but mm. ministers from Japan and the United States are closer to agreeing on a major free trade deal. The officials have wrapped up their the latest round of talks on the Trans-Pacific Partnership, but Japan's Akira Amari says challenges remain. He says the two sides will keep working to find common ground. Amari met with U.S. Trade Representative Michael Froman in Tokyo into the early hours of Tuesday. The U.S. is calling on Japan to import more American rice. Japan wants the U.S. to remove tariffs on Japanese cars and auto parts. We've seen some progress on issues in overall negotiations. In fact, we have managed to narrow our differences. But we still haven't achieved a complete resolution. Amari says the two countries will continue with their working level talks. He says he will meet again with Froman if necessary. He added the possibility of concluding a TPP deal by year end is higher now. The U.S. has also issued some positive signs. Assistant Secretary of State for East Asian and Pacific Affairs, Daniel Russell, says an agreement is within reach. I think every leader and every trade minister among the 12 is determined to close on this deal this year. Chief working level negotiators from countries involved in the TPP are set to meet again on Thursday for four days of talks in the U.S. There are 12 member countries involved in these TPP talks. We have discussed a very wide range of fields. Issues in some fields still need to be addressed. Delegates will work out rules for intellectual property rights, including the duration of uh, drug patent protections. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and U.S. Uh, President Barack Obama have indicated they want to see progress in the negotiations at their summit next week. Meanwhile, U.S. officials are facing opposition at home over the TPP. Labor leaders are staging protests, saying the deal could seriously threaten American jobs. More than 1,000 members of labor unions and other groups gathered in front of the U.S. Trade Representative Office. In the crowd was Senator Bernie Sanders, who is an independent but part of a Democratic caucus. TPP will be a disaster. Sanders said past free trade agreements have failed to live up to their promises of creating more jobs. Bipartisan lawmakers introduced to Congress last week a bill to give President Barack Obama greater authority in trade negotiations. But the opposition from labor leaders and some Democratic lawmakers is casting a shadow over the measure. At the White House, Press Secretary Josh Earnest stressed the deal would be beneficial for the U.S. to continue to play a central role in the global economy. That the United States is not going to be engaged in writing the rules there, then we're at very real risk uh, of the Chinese government using the influence that they're granted by their large economy to come in and write rules that put American workers and American businesses at a disadvantage. Obama and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe are hoping to confirm progress in the negotiations at their summit next week. What brought you here tonight was a shelter from the rain. If we eliminate the impossible, the truth is all that will remain. Once I've seen it in your eyes, the time and place you're gonna die. It's burned and etched into my mind and I'm never gonna tell you. I'm never gonna tell you. I'm never going to tell you. Abscess, tooth or gangrene, cancer or heart disease, terrorist or shark attack, low probability, but it is a mystery because your face is just a face, as if my mind was opened up and suddenly erased.
And once you walk out of here onto the slick sidewalk, you may get hit by a bus, or your heart might just then stop, but I'll simply never know. And that makes me so upset that I have to go. I wasn't gonna tell you, I wasn't gonna tell you, I wasn't gonna tell you. Wasn't gonna tell you. I was never gonna tell you. I was never gonna tell you.